Right, we're going to make uh, an empty project for our table view with uh, detailed cells. So the first thing you have to do is to add a storyboard because the empty project has no storyboard in it. So just call it story or whatever you like and uh, add it into the project. I just shift it up a bit looks neater. Now we have to then find the p-list because the storyboard's not in there. So add a row, could be anywhere. Scroll down to M where you say the, the main storyboard file base name. I've called it story so for the string part call it the name of the storyboard which in, in this case is story. So that's done that. Now go back to the storyboard view, drag in a navigation controller and remove its view. So I'm doing there, just remove its view because we're going to attach it to the table view controller which I'm dragging in now. Right, you just control, press control and link them across with a relationship. There we are, relationship there. So they're linked. And now I'm going to add two view controllers, a red one and a yellow one. Don't forget to choose static cell for that uh, table view. Otherwise uh, it's not going to work. So you have to use static cell, a red one and a uh, yellow one. and then I'm going to link those two views to the cells or the details whatever you like to call them. So we just select one of the details, that blue, uh, make it a basic one in this case and then choose the accessory which is the arrow you can see there uh, arrow, and then link it across. Now because we're using a navigation controller it can be a push and then that puts it on the stack and remembers its uh, position in the stack. Call it red and the other one the same for yellow. Link them across, make it a basic one again in this case and choose a different arrow. There's a nice blue one in this case. Make it say that's yellow and then link it to that view at the bottom there with another push. Uh, that's a push. Now that's about it, except I've done something wrong because it doesn't work. You can see I'm not faking this, I actually did it earlier on. <laughs> it didn't work because I'd forgotten to remove a bit of code in appdelegate.m. This um, did finish launch with options method needs this bit of code commented out. It's not appropriate in this particular case. And then I'll just run it again and it does work. There, it goes back yellow. Is that what you wanted? Maybe not, but that's what it does. Now I was doing so well, I thought I'd add in a tab bar controller so we can make this um, table sit in a tab. So you've got a tab with an ordinary view. Just remove that bottom one and link it to the table view. Okay, it's got one view which is grey and the other tab will be linked to this controller here, the navigation controller. First of all put this arrow on the tab bar controller because that's the starting screen and then link them across with a relationship and that's about done. And ju just um, run it and there you go, you've got a grey tab and on the other tab is the tables and that's all working very nicely. So there you go. See you in the next video I hope.